Hi, I'm going to quickly show you how to um, strip down a Reloop Mixage CA. It's the same as a Reloop Mixage. I've not seen a video on YouTube as yet, so here's one. <coughs> the reason why I'm getting this is because one of my mates decided to press that way too hard. Thank you. So first things first, don't panic. You can pull off most of this. So, instance for the sliders, grip it tight and pull it. Try not to rag it. There we go. Again, pull them. Again, over here. These. Now, on some of them, they got a bolt and a washer. So if I can zoom in, I'll try. You see this one's got a a nut and there's a washer underneath that. So what I used was those but use very long nose pliers. <laughs> so I didn't like so and use the screwdriver. Do it a little bit more. Now what I did earlier is I turned the unit over and just shook them off. I noticed as well that the reloop has put little indentation with a I think that is so you can do this I hope Yeah, get the screwdriver underneath it. I'll do that, shake it off. Again, one not a panic about is the um Tracks controller, the browser. Again, use a bit of force, pull them off. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it over. This is where the fun bit begins. Now on the back there's lots of screws and that's just to start you off before you open it up. So here we go, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve of those. None of the back screws have to come off. Just the ones underneath, all 12. Here we go then. Now, when you take this unit up, mind that there are ribbon cables connecting it to the circuit board. So when you take it up, take it up gently until you can see the ribbon wires. There's one. 
There's another one. Oh, there we go. There's two. <clears throat> Let's move that. We don't need that. Flipping rod. So there were you two ribbon wires. That one and that one. Okay, next stage is any more ribbon wires? Yes, there is. There are another two. One on either side. And then there's lots and lots and lots of screws. I mean, lots of screws. In fact, more than you'd ever expect. So you'd be around the edges. There's one, there's one. Just keep going until you take all the screws out. The ones you don't have to take out are, let's see if I can, are these. These don't have to come out. There's three there. They don't need to come out. But the other... 32... 33... The other 33... All of those have to come out. So... <clears throat> ribbons are off on either side. Taking all my 33 screws out. Gently, gently now. Come on. Yeah. the underside now with this controller there's my broken switches what still left in comes the board then I just noticed on this board as well, <clears throat> when I gotta go flip it over, I got these. Yeah. Those. There's four of them. They obviously make an earth. Don't want to really damage them, do we? Hmm. Shall I fold them over, or should I put something underneath? I think I'll put something underneath. Probably be the best bet. I'm gonna magic this now. Bit of magic. Just so you know, I got two DVDs underneath that. And I used purposely a towel just to protect the board. Right, so here we go. I would use something a bit smaller. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm going to do with this now is... There's a little one. Tiny part of there that pushes onto the pad. And on this side is where it snapped off. Which I think I'm going to use hot glue, so be stuck again with the movement. And again, this one. That 
that goes on the pad. There we go. That's my tear down anyway. I've got to fix it. So good luck. And if you watch this, well done. Thank you.